In this video, you will learn how to create variable products with swatches from our theme, as well as how to define Ajax filters. Let's start with attributes. Go to Products, Attributes, and let's create attributes for color and sizes. The slug sets the unique reference for the attribute. It sets automatically. The Enable Archives option enables the attribute to have product archives in your store. Default sort order determines the sort order of the terms on the front end shop product pages. The swatch area is responsible for changing the style and size of the swatches. Show attribute label on products shows an attribute label on the product image. The change product image on attribute click option allows you to change the variation image just by selecting only one swatch. The attribute icon sets an icon that will be displayed on the additional information table. Attribute hint content shows the text that will be displayed as a hint on the additional information table. Now let's add our created attribute and additionally create the size attribute. In order to add terms for each attribute, click on the configure terms button. Set the name for our term. The swatch area is responsible for setting the type for the swatches. It could be either an image, a color, or a text swatch type. For our color terms, we should define the color swatch field. Then click on the Add New Color button and do the same to create additional attributes. We created three attribute terms for the color attribute. Now let's create terms for the size attribute. Go to the same path and click the configure terms of the size attribute. Let's also add three terms, but with the text swatch option enabled. Here are our created attribute terms. Now we need to create a product and assign these attributes to the product. Let's go to All Products and create a new product through the Add New Product button. Define a name for the product. The product data field should be defined as a variable product. Now we need to define our created attributes in the Attributes tab. Also make sure that the Used for Variations option is enabled. The Generate Variations button will help to define variations automatically. Through the Bulk Action functionality, we can set the regular price for all variations. And now let's publish our product and check how the swatches look. Previously, I showed you the styles of swatches. Let's apply them to the color attributes. And here's a result. In theme settings, we have options for attribute swatches. Let's look at them in more detail. Navigate to Theme Settings. Shop. Variable Products. Grid Swatch Attribute to Display sets the attribute that will be shown on the product grid. Limit Swatches Options. Collapsing the swatches list on the product grid or in the product page to save space in case a product has too many variations. The use images from product variations option allows you to fill the swatches buttons with images chosen for product variations and not with images uploaded to attribute terms. So, first, 
we need to define the images for the variations via the settings of the product. After setting the images, you will not see the difference because the swatches should have the text size option enabled. Let's edit each color term and turn on that option. At the same time, the color swatches field should be disabled. And here's the result. The white is shown as a text because we didn't define the image for that variation. The show selected option name on desktop and tablet option replaces the variation swatch tooltip with the text label next to the attribute title. Scroll to top on Variation Select. When you turn on this option and click on some variation with image, the page will be scrolled up to show that variation image in the main product gallery. Additional Variations Images. Adds an ability to upload additional images for each variation in variable products. Show variation image based on filter selection. Displays the selected variation image based on the chosen filter instead of the default product image. Now we're going to create an Ajax filter for our created attributes. Navigate to Appearance. Widgets. For the Shop Page widget area, define the Woodmart WooCommerce Layered Nav widget. Here you have the ability to change its name, set the attribute. Let's go through the options of the Woodmart WooCommerce Layered Nav widget. Query type that allows you to apply multiple filters. Option AND. Show only products that satisfy both conditions set by the user through applied filters for that particular element. Option OR. Search returns all products that satisfy at least one of the conditions. Layout allows us to change the filter's layout, for example, by making it as a drop-down or in one line. Swatch size. Swatch style allows you to set the specific style for the swatches in that filter widget. Swatches shape. Other options give the ability to turn on or turn off the labels, tooltips, checkboxes. Also, we are going to add an additional widget, so one will be for the color attribute and another for the size attribute. Now let's check how it looks.